We stay on the basketball court for number six. Like Benjamin, a four-year starter for her high school, where she dominated the post and the Putnam County League for Ottoville. <laughs> Abby Siefker, Ottaville, class of 2013 basketball. First player in school history with 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. Finishing with over 1,300 points and a school record 1,085 boards. Led Ottaville to the state tournament as a senior, earning Division IV Ohio Player of the Year honors, averaging 17.1 points, 12 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks a game, while also earning District and Putnam County League Player of the Year honors. Three times first team all PCL. Also lettered in volleyball, soccer, and track, earning all Ohio honors in track after helping her 4 by 800 relay team place fourth at the state meet. Abby, you know, she's so tall and so athletic, you know, and we knew we were going to have our hands full with her. And we actually played her when she was a freshman, too, in a regional game, and she was good back then. I have amazing hands, great footwork, um, just an incredible player. Hard, hard to defend, absolutely. Abby Siefker was able to overcome the stigma as being just six feet two. At a small school like Ottawa, hey, she's six two, she'll be able to dominate. But as we've seen with other kids over the years, that isn't necessarily the case. She really worked at her game. She had to develop her, her foot speed and her foot movement capability. Uh, she also had to really work on her shot. She had an excellent supporting cast with a, a winning program and won a ton of games, hardly ever lost. But the way she improved her game and ultimately earned a Division I scholarship, to me that was the biggest thing about Abby Siefker, even though a lot of people will point back and, and point to some tournament disappointments, but she won so many games and the way she improved her game, she also ran track, by the way, and was a uh, outstanding student. So she really came through under a, a situation where the expectations were ridiculously high. Thinking of all of Coach Clayman's Ottoville Lady Green teams, they love to run, they love to pressure defensively, and then comes along Abby Siefker, who can do everything. She's big, but she can also get up and down the floor. She can handle the basketball. And I, I remember Mike Miller saying, as, before she was in a freshman, there comes another Siefker girl, and she's not a runner like her older sister is. She's a good basketball player. They're gonna try and get her in soccer a little bit so she can you know, get some good mobility. But Abby didn't disappoint. I mean, it's just a gentle spirit, but when she was in the paint, nobody was stopping her. She could step outside and shoot a little bit. Uh, just really brought that whole Ottoville team together. Uh, did so much for Coach Clayman, and I know he did a lot for her as well. Right, and that's and and to improve your game with the high expectations, that doesn't happen overnight. That's a lot of summers. That's a lot of long winter evenings during the course of the season. Fortunately, she had a good surrounding cast, and and her coaching was was very good and had been there a long time. But yeah, Abby Siefker, the way she elevated her game over time, she was a lot better senior than when she was a freshman. It's just that she was on such incredible winning teams that it sort of got lost in the shuffle. But at the end of the day, she also came through for those guys. Siefker is currently playing basketball for Bowling Green. Abby Siefker, number six on 44's top 44 female athletes. While Siefker was at Ottaville, the Big Green did not lose a single home game or a PCL game, and twice they were knocked out of the tournament by the eventual state champions. 